Who's there? Russ? That you, Russ? No, no, it's, it's me, Floyd Wilbur. They're coming, Floyd. I, I've seen them from the ridge. How many? Fifteen, maybe more. It, it's getting dark. Fifteen, anyway. That ought to be enough. Oh, that leg, Floyd, looks awful bad. You, you ought to do something about it. Why'd you come back here, Wilbur? How come you didn't run off with the rest of them yellow-livered skunks? Oh, I, I started to, Floyd. I, I sure did, but then I got to thinking. I, I couldn't leave you here all alone, not the way you are, and, and that posse coming. You knew it'd be a fight, and you came back? I'm here, ain't I? You know what you're in for? Oh, I've seen you get out of worse. As like as not, you'd have done all right alone. Yeah? I got four rounds in this one, and none in the other. <laughs> that made the odds a little rough. Here. Here, load them for me. Huh? My guns, load them! For Florida. You got bullets, ain't you? Oh, yes, but I, well, I never thought I'd live to see the day that Floyd Winters had trust his guns to another man. You earned it. You didn't run off with the rest. If your brother Russ had been here, there wouldn't have been nobody running off. Yeah, but Russ ain't here. Go ahead, Wilbur, load him up for me. <laughs> Funny thing, ain't it? Live with a man five years. Don't even know him. Here, I figured you'd be the first to yell out and... Spotted a campfire maybe 15 minutes back, just before the trail swung down from Yellow Mesa into the canyon. I'd run into Sheriff Preston and his posse a while back. He told me about finally catching up with Floyd Witters, dead. That didn't hold for Floyd's brother, Russ, who was just as mean and still alive. Maybe that campfire had just been my imagination. I'd had a tough three months' work pushing cattle over Shepherd Pass. Now I was headed for Single Pine. Figured on spending a couple of days unwinding. Get your hands up, Rush. Hi. Hi, I said. I ain't bluffing. You ought to know that. Something you ought to know. Oh, don't turn around. Just stand like you are here. Oh, you ain't Russ. I could have told you that. I, I, I thought the way you were standing there. You thought wrong. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Who are you anyway? And, and what are you doing on this trail this time of night? My name's Bonner. Bonner? Vint Bonner? Yeah, and suppose you put that gun away. Yes, sir. I, I even heard Floyd Winters talk about you. 
You knew Floyd Winters? That's nothing. It's just my horse. Well, I thought from whom? And I've been on the trail all day. There's not a soul within 20 miles. You ain't lying to me. I, I didn't mean that. Don't pay no attention to me. I, I'm just kind of upset. I, I figure you've got a right to be. What do you mean by that? You're Wilbur English, aren't you? Well, how'd you know? Not too hard to figure. The way you had me pegged as winners. Then you know. Yeah. I ran into Sheriff Preston a while back. The whole posse's talking about it. They're talking about it? You, you mean it? About the way you shot Floyd Winters. How about that? Two days ago, no, I, nobody ever heard of me. And now they're... What, what'd they say? There's... Well, you'll find out soon enough. That was something, wasn't it? I, I, I mean, me knocking over Floyd the way I did. Mm, that was something. Three years they've been after him. Three years they've been trying to get him, and I'd done it. The top gun like you ought to appreciate a thing like that. I'm not a gun. Well, I, I, I didn't mean that. I, I mean, you got a reputation for, for taking care of yourself. Well, I, I guess I, I got one now, too, huh? Yeah. You've got quite a reputation. Well, I, I bet they're all talking about it back at Single Pine. Single Pine? That's where I'm supposed to meet up with Sheriff Preston. He, he told me to go on ahead while the rest of the posse kept after Russ a while longer. What are his plans? Well, he's going into Cheyenne tomorrow to deliver a prisoner, and he promised to take me with him. That's where I'm going to get my pardon in Cheyenne. And, and the reward money. Of course, the reward money don't, don't mean nothing. Well, Preston's a good man. He'll take care of you. I, I got to get the single pine first. I, I got to get that far on my own. It's only a short ride. Well, I thought, well, you, you were heading to single pine. Well, maybe we could ride in together. You'll do all right. Bonner. Mr. Bonner. He, he's after me, Floyd's brother, Russ. He, he swore he'd kill me. Bonner, I'm begging you. How could it be too much to ask? I, I'll make it up to you. I, I'll give you half the reward. I'll take you in. <laughs> you will? Uh, yeah, honest, I... Just shut up. One thing I can't stand... I'll put my bedroll over here. I, I, I thought, well, well, maybe we might go on tonight. Tonight? I've been pushing it since dawn. I know, but... But out here, I, I, I don't think I'd sleep. Get your horse. See, you won't regret this, Mr. Bunn. I, I swear it. Yeah. I'll get my horse. English. Just one thing. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Bonner. While we're on the trail, let's say you just ride in front of me. Well, we rode on through the night. Wilbur didn't let up a minute. Just kept twisting and turning in his saddle, looking over his shoulder like any minute somebody was going to send a bullet slamming into his neck. Here we are. What's the matter? Well, that, that, that fellow over there. What? Where? For the hardware store. I, I, I can't see him real clear, but it, it looks like Russ. Looks a whole lot more like Ben Fletcher. That's his hardware store he's leaning up against. Come on inside. Hello, Pop. That's a fine way for the sheriff to be tending his job. Supposing that had been rushed out there. Well, it wasn't. Besides, that's not the sheriff. That's Phil Waterman, his deputy. Hey, Phil. Huh? Wake up. Oh, Ben. 
Vince Barnes. I heard about you working cattle over on the Shepherd Trail. Yeah, three months of it. Figured on doing a little unwinding. That was the idea. You sure picked a quiet place for it. I see what you mean. What? Oh. Oh, the nap. I didn't get a wink of sleep last night. Say, where's Mike? Well, I lit out for Red Rock about an hour ago. Some noise about rough winters being spotted. Yesterday, there's three other places. Rush? You, you mean they, they ain't found Rush yet? You talk about being foxy. That rough winters had slipped through a crack and choke a lizard. What about the sheriff's trip to Cheyenne? She put it off. Hey. Hey. Get out of here. Who mutt thinks this is a butcher shop? Put it off. off. You, you mean his trip? That's what he said. Leave tomorrow, maybe next day. Well, what am I supposed to do? Just sit around and wait? Who's your friend, Vent? Thought you knew. This is Wilbur English. Ah. Well, so that's Wilbur English. Listen, Phil. The name's Mr. Waterman. Well, you got to understand. The sheriff promised he, he, he'd see that I got to Cheyenne. Which he will when he goes himself. What's he doing about it? He, he's out gallivanting around. And... Now, you looky here. Mike Preston said he'd take you to Cheyenne. He'll take you there. He ain't never gone back on his word yet. Not even to no murder and... I forgot. You ain't no outlaw no more. You a public-spirited citizen. All right. You get yourself into that hotel across the street and you stay there. When the sheriff comes back, I'll tell him where you are. Ain't there no place for me here? I mean, back there? Cells are full. The hotel, Mr. English, across the street. Now, how'd you ever get mixed up in anything like that? Kind of accidental. I bumped into him on the trail last night. Well, Floyd Winters needed killing. There's no arguing that. I guess we all owe English something. Yeah, I suppose so. Say, the drought lit up around here yet? <laughs> Why, sure, we got two new saloons since you was here. Nah, I didn't mean that. I want to get a bath. Oh, that. Well, you can go down to Daggett's two blocks down the street if you think you have to. I have to. See you later. Hold it right where you are. Take your hands out of my bag and keep hold of whatever you've got. Wilbur, you picked the dangest time to get hungry. It ain't for me, Mr. Bonner. It's for him. Him? <laughs> Poor little fella. For he eats like he ain't been fed in days. I thought Phil told you to go to the hotel. Oh, yes, sir, he, di he did. Well? well I, I mean, d didn't he act sort of funny? I mean, the, the way he talked to me and... That's Phil. Oh, he talked like I was a nobody. Now, go on to the hotel like he told you. Mike will be back tomorrow, and that'll be that. <laughs> yes, sir, I, I was just fixing to. All right. Where are you going? I've got some business to attend to. Ain't you going to stay in, in that hotel over there? Wilbur, you're not afraid to cross the street, are you? <laughs> no, sir. No, it, well, it, it's just that I, I figured, well, since you were staying in town anyway, I... <sighs> Come on. Couple rooms. I 
What's your name? Half a dollar apiece. Half a dollar? In advance. <laughs> Look, I, I, I was thinking, well, the price of the room, well, maybe if we was to share one. No. That'll be room 16 and 17. Wilbur English. <laughs> hey, Charlie. It's Wilbur English. <laughs> you boys heard of me? Well, sure we heard of you. You're a legend. Ain't he a legend, Charlie? Well, a regular Daniel Boone here, Tell. Yeah. A real big gun. Huh? Well, how, how about that? You know this fella done, Charlie? Well, sure. He was this mean old Floyd Winters, see? Mm. And he's got two guns right smack into this fella's belly. And do you think Wilbur English was scared? He was not. Wilbur English ain't scared of nothing. He just looked at old Floyd Winters right in the eye and he went smack. And knocked those guns right out of his hands. <laughs> 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 you, you fellas better not mess with me. <laughs> You're just buying trouble. Oh, sure. that, that's Vin Bonner. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you hear what he said? <laughs> that's Vin Bonner. Oh, yes, it is, and I'm David Crockett. <laughs> All right. I reckon I ain't got any argument with you. Come on, Wilbur. Give me a piece of paper. Make it a yellow one. I finally got Wilbur settled down, and don't think that didn't take some doing. Anyway, I was feeling kind of beat myself. That bath I needed, I could get that later. And I guess I must have been asleep about an hour when... Who is it? Me, Wilbur. Oh. Uh, listen, I, I got to speak to you. Coming. He's here, Mr. Bonner, in single time. Who's here? Russ Winters. He's right here in town. Wilbur, you've imagined you've seen him a couple of times before, remember? What do you call this imagining thing? What is it? Go on, read it. You don't have much longer to wait, you yellow coward Russ. Well... Where'd you get this? He slid it under my door. Did you see him? I, I didn't have to. Look, if Russ Winters were in town, he wouldn't waste any time sending you notes. He'd be calling on you personal. Oh, no, you, you see, he, he, that's just what he would do. He'd like nothing better than to just sit well, there and you. you don't let me get them. You've got me doing it. Jumping at sounds. I give you my word, that note doesn't mean anything. It's probably those boys in the lobby. Why? Well, I, I thought everybody would be grateful for what I'd done. They've been after Floyd for years, and, and here and I go and do it for him. That's true. And now they act as if it were wrong, as if he was some kind of hero or something. Floyd Winters was no hero, I'll grant you that. Then, then why are they all against me? They're not against you. It's just the way you shot him. And you were a member of the gang. Well, I ain't never denied that. But I, I wasn't mean like Rustin or Floyd. 
they just sort of had me hanging around. So I, I guess I did do my share of harm, but, but I, I never killed nobody. All the time I was with that gang, I never killed nobody. You killed Floyd. That was different. He, he was an outlaw, wasn't he? He had it coming. Everybody said he did. Listen, if I hadn't have shot him, there'd have been more killing. And the posse was coming, and well, I, I was sort of saving their lives. And getting yourself a pardon and a reward. I, I wasn't thinking about that. You weren't, huh? What good to do me anyway? Russ is out hunting me, and and everybody's acting like they'd, they'd like to see him get me. Like I was some sort of dirty coward or something. And you think I'm a coward too, don't you? I didn't say that. But you're thinking it. I can tell you, you're just like all the rest of them, all of them. Well, I ain't, I ain't a coward at all. Sit down, Wilbur. I'm going out there, see? I'm going out there in the street, and, 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 and I'm going to call out. Russ? Russ, you out there? Will you come on out here, see? Wilbur, sit down. You can't stop me. Nobody can. Call me a coward. All right. You're not a coward. You're just saying that. No, no, I mean it. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I mean it. You're not a coward. Sit down, Wilbur. Okay, except that... Well, I, I didn't want you to think that... All right, all right. train this afternoon, leaving for Cheyenne at, at 4.30. What about it? I'd like to be on it. You're supposed to sit tight. I, I know, but it, it's only a question of time. Look, if I were in your place... I know, but you're not in my place. That's true, I'm not. Well, what do you do? I mean, after you get to Cheyenne? I, I don't know. You've got some folks? Place, maybe? Everybody's got a place. No, I, I never had. Four thirty, huh? I'll see that you're on it. tell it, the train was 20 miles up the line, just pulling out of Red Rock and gaining speed. Not many people had gotten on. Wilbur was sitting by the window looking out at the scenery. In a way, I was kind of sorry to see him go. Not that I'd gotten to like him or anything. Anyway, I reasoned that'd be the last I'd ever see of him. I was right. Because there he met Russ. Russ! Russ, listen to me, listen to me, Floyd! The party was coming, I was getting... Ah! Look, I hate knocking the dead as much as anybody. What am I supposed to do, bleed for him? Guess you're right. I just can't figure you, Vince. I mean, a dirty little coward like that. Just that he wanted so little. Just to be... wanted. That's my point, what I'm trying to say. What's the loss? Who'd want him? Who would at that? Oh, oh. Yeah. 